Давай, давай, мы Рида забираем потихоньку сюда, потихоньку. Dear cosmonauts, we are happy to greet you on our soil. Space flights uh, have been taking place here since 1964. It's been over half a century. A link to the names of cosmonauts, uh, the heroes of the Soviet Union. We've got uh, lots of streets named after them. And of course, uh, everybody here is sending you their best wishes, wishing you health, uh, luck, success. So we'd like to present with the Chabans, according to the Kazakh tradition. А девушки, которые принесли, тоже когда сюда идут. А насчет тут стоять не знаю. Волос, он же уезжал, волос волосами. Так что, уважаемые коллеги, пожелаем Can you say a few words about your impressions here on the ground after such a long duration space flight? How are you feeling? Are you feeling all right? Yes, we are feeling great. Alex is uh, getting thoughtful. Yeah, smiling, all of you. Everything is fine. We are feeling just uh, exactly as uh, somebody who has been in space for half a year should be feeling. There are certain things, but overall it's okay. Can you say a few words about the work accomplished in space, about the experiments you did there? Well, I don't want to get into much detail. There have been over 50 experiments uh, on the Russian segment, only on the Russian segment. I can say that a significant scientific work was accomplished uh, uh, for the Europeans and on the US segment. And what's interesting is that our Japanese colleagues uh, didn't leave us. And uh, I know that uh, we've uh, brought five, uh, six, four, five, five fishes. <laughs> One of them got it right after landing, so we've got only four left. <laughs> That's a joke. But it's a joke, yes. It was a joke. Other than that, Reid uh, completed two spacewalks, Alex one spacewalk, I also did one spacewalk. So all of our crew members have been outside, breathed uh, a breath of fresh air. We've got uh, some vehicles, uh, two cargo vehicles uh, dock into the Russian segment. In addition, the guys had one Cygnus, one Dragon, two cargo vehicles, and uh, the European ATV is still docked to the station. So the program of our space flight was uh, very intense, and we've been we were busy, but we still found some time for fun. So obviously it was a little warmer last time you saw Kazakhstan, so a bit of a shock getting out. Uh, how, how was the ride back down? How'd it go? The ride's awesome. I mean, that was amazing. It was. Uh, I was pretty nervous going into it, for sure. Um, but once it's like anything that I've done here. Once you get going, once you're in the capsule, once you start heading down, this is awesome. It was a fun time. A lot of uh, dynamic events. Got to turn into a fireball for a little while, and then uh, you know, really that whole part was great. We our G's were a little higher than we expected. Um, so we were getting pressed down pretty good, and then uh, I already knew all the parachute stuff was going to be crazy, so mm -hmm. that was already kind of expected. But then after we landed, we were upright for a couple seconds, yeah, maybe even a minute. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the wind carrying our parachute tipped us over. And that was actually the most dynamic event of the whole wow. thing. And then we got dragged for a little bit, and then uh, finally we got the parachute risers off, and uh, and they came and rescued us. So it was all very quick. I mean, uh, I couldn't believe how fast the folks were here, especially with the weather the way it is. It's great. Well,
bit of, bit of a roller coaster ride. So uh, so while you were on orbit, you know, it was crazy busy. October had to be one of the busiest months in the history of the International Space Agency. Busy. And you guys, you know, you were slammed to the wall in science. What, what was it like up there for your six months? Yeah, I mean, well, it was, it, it, it took all the extremes. At first, I think they gave us a lot of time. Me and Alex are two rookies. They gave us a lot of time to get adjusted. And then uh, once we kind of hit the end of June into July, we were working really hard. We were doing a lot of science. It was really a lot of science right in there mm -hmm. in that like July, August time frame. And then once uh, September hit, we started moving over towards the EVAs. And we knocked out two EVAs and worked in transport uh, vehicles. We had uh, Cygnus leave, Dragon come. We had ATV come, Dragon leave. And Dragon is just a, it's an immense amount of work. Yeah. I had no, I was not prepared for the amount of work that Dragon is. <laughs> I mean, it's just nonstop from the time the thing docked until it undocked. We were working science, cargo, everything. So uh, really, I mean, it, we ended with a bang. October was just insane. I mean, we, we didn't really even have a weekend in that whole month. We were just working. So uh, it was okay, though. It was great. You know, we, we saved up some reserves because we knew it was going to be tough, and it was good. What, what you signed up for, right? Uh, you want to get up there and get bored. Uh, how could you have done more in one mission? <laughs> I mean, we did it all. It was great. So you mentioned you and Alex were rookies. It really looked like you guys, you know, you're always a tight-knit group up there, but you guys really bonded, whether it was, you know, no, watching World Cup. Each other you hate each other. I yeah. can tell. There's this big distance. <laughs> All right, Alex, get but I mean, I mean, what? How great was it to have like these guys you could really, you know, bond with from all over the globe for to be in your crew on board? Uh, you know, I've told Max several times and Alex, um, I'm so lucky to be in this program. Just be the people that I've met around the world. I mean, here I know Max and his kids and his wife uh, so well. I've spent mm -hmm. so much time with them the last two years, and Alex and his spouse spent so much time with them too. And uh, you know, my kids know Max's kids, and and it's just so neat to have friends like that in Russia, friends in Germany, and then to work, get to work in Japan. Uh, it's really been unbelievable. It's, been, it's incredible. Yeah. And you were fantastic at bringing the whole world along for your ride. You, <laughs> you really were. You, were. you were great, though. You know, luck is preparation, and you know, so you were fantastic at that. What, Thank you. What, what really kind of pushed you to do that? You know, what what was the what was the driving force? You know, I have absolutely no idea because I, I two two and a half years ago I really didn't even know what Twitter was, but I just figured uh, I'm, I'm one of the I've said this a couple times, but I'm one of the first rookies to do a mm -hmm. long duration space flight yep. and I really wanted to share that what is what is it like to be up there what is it like to be weightless and to look down at the earth and all that and what is it like to fly with a Russian command <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so I just wanted to tell that story from my point of view and that's all I wanted to do I think it was successful any crazy favorite memories with you and all Max and the guys all, all of them, them. <laughs> starting in winter survival in Star City that was a great that was a great start for our crew all right, and you well, know what? Uh, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk about words. Yep. Because I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. I'm going in the aircraft. Excellent. See you soon, buddy. See you, buddy. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> as soon as possible. All right. All right. Well, Reed, welcome back. Thanks, Thanks again, Dan. man. Really yep. appreciate it. Great job. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. I'll see you. Пойдем, да, пойдем, пойдем.